Welcome back guys, it's George from Gem In 10 Collector's World. Very excited today, we've got a 1987 settle box break we're doing. And uh, just wanted to mention first guys, thank you for all the support. We just hit our 300 subscriber. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We have some amazing stuff coming up. I got uh, boxes from 92, 93 tops coming, basketball, and some 1992, 93 stadium club. Uh, we're going to go try and uh, get that Shaq rookie, so look out for that. Plus, we have amazing cards coming back from PSA. Uh, One Order has some of my best PC cards. Um, got a bunch of Zions on there, uh, and very excited about my 93 SP uh, Jeter. Um, so, uh, that's coming up, guys, so look out for that. Okay, so 1987 Salo. So, the Salo packs are kind of double the size of normal packs, and uh, I think they have the gum in the middle. And we have uh, we have six uh, pa six packs with four rows of deep, so we're looking at about twenty four of them. Since it's so much, so many cards, guys, I'm going to break this video into four parts. I'll do a level on each part. Uh, this basically the set was doing nothing for a long, long time. Um, I was about what twelve years old when this first set came out, and uh, this set is kind of landmark for me because um, uh, obviously I was a Loved collecting cards as a kid. This is actually the first set that I actually completed. Uh, before that, you know, just buying packs and getting your favorite players. But this is the first set that I actually uh, completed the set. So, and I love the look of it. Um, you got that uh, brown border, and uh, and it's been catching fire lately. So a lot of uh, a lot of the junk wax uh, is is going crazy lately. Um, just for example, you could have got. A box of 87 sealed BBCE about six months ago for what 15 20 bucks and now it's shot up uh, big time so rookies in this one we got the Barry Larkin and Rafael Palmero official rookies now what's interesting about the 87 is you, you have the Bo Jackson future stars card uh, but his actual first card was an 86 traded uh, same with the Bonds and the Canseco. So um, everybody kind of, there's a debate on the Bonds rookie. So this is not his actual first card. Bonds' first card was in the 86 series. So, And um, Maguire. So Maguire's rookie was in 85. That was the the USA team. But uh, this is the first card that he's in the Oakland A's uniform. So that one's actually catching fire like crazy. Everybody's going crazy with Sosa and Maguire since uh, they've been uh, talking about that uh, documentary coming out, Chasing um, ch chasing Maris uh, for the home run uh, uh, season record. Um, so we are going to do the first roll, like we said. Uh, shout out to Gary Mazana. I bought three boxes of these ones to Gary and uh, just wanted to give him a shout out because not a lot, just to let you know, silo, cellos you could see through and the first pack I saw when I opened up is that Bo Jackson Future Stars. So um, kind of feel safe uh, buying from Gary that, uh, you know, there wasn't uh, people, you know, most, a lot of guys in the industry would go through the silos. Obviously you could see the top and bottom and kind of just switch the packs where, and, uh, and switch them for the good cards. But, uh, you know, it feels good that uh, I could see that um, um, Bo Jackson Future Stars card. That's one of the cards that are that are good in the set. So here we go, guys. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments about 87. And uh, obviously the, the, the jump in uh, junk wax that's going on right now. So I love this set as a kid. And I thought it would be a cool break. Um We've got three boxes of this, so I'm going to do this one. This is a personal break. This is the first one, and then what I'm going to do is uh, maybe put uh, the second box up for a nice box break on uh, our Facebook group page, Gem and Ten Collectors Road, guys. So if you're interested, go there and uh, ask to join and um, for for the next box break. So first off, like we said, the Bo Jackson, and that looks like very clean and looks in great shape. So I'm very happy. Um, about uh, the first of these cards in the condition. Usually salos are kind of suspect. I know the gum is usually a problem in the middle. It's usually caked on, but so far so good. This uh, Bo Jackson looks pretty good. And uh, because uh, this is an old favorite of mine, uh, we're gonna do four parts and just take our time with this break and have some fun. So um, I'm gonna stop off. What I usually do guys is I stop off. I, I kind of always leave um, kind of the notables, Hall of Famers. There's a Don Manningly All Star. I'll put it to the side and a Kirby Puckett. So um, I'm going to put all the Hall of Famers to the side. And then what I do is I go through the Hall of Famers um, really like with a magnifying glass and a nice light. 
and then I just pick the ones that I think are going to be PSA 10s and ship them off to PSA uh, for 87. Um, you usually uh, I'm only I'm only looking for for tens. So there is the gum card, or sorry, should be oh there's no, oh there's the gum card and it's pretty you know that's expected guys when you are looking at these old wax. But uh, other than that one card, guys, it looks good because the other side ha is this um, Top Spring Funeral giveaway card. So that's good. It's only one card that's affected, but it is caked on there. So I hope I don't get anything good on that gum card. So here we go. Uh, but the cards are sharp. Corners are sharp. Surfaces are good. So we should be getting some uh, PSA notables out of here. Um, Gary Carter, another Hall of Famer. And... Dalmaso Garcia, underrated player for the Blue Jays. I'm coming out of Toronto. We do my videos out of Toronto, guys. So Blue Jays is uh, was my favorite team growing up. Okay, so very happy with the first pack. Some nice, um, some nice sharp cards. Gary Gaetti, Kevin Mitchell. Actually, I think he hit like 49. There's a Roger Clemens All Star. I'll put that one to the side for potential. Um, what I'll do is I'll sleeve up just uh, the rookies, the notable rookies, and um, and uh, the Bonds, if I get a Bonds and Maguire. And the rest of the cards, what I'll do is I'll just uh, put them in a pile and just kind of go through them after. Here is our gum cards. So one gum, this one lead into the second card, but, you know, nothing, nothing notable yet. Tim Raines, I'm going to put that one to the side. I always like, I started collecting Tim Raines again. One of my, I liked him as a kid. And um, as you can see, these uh, there's Andre, there's the Hawk, Andre Dawson. I'll put that one to the side as well. Uh, just bring Dale Murphy. A lot of people say that uh, he should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, guys, about Dale Murphy. I definitely think him and McGriff should get in. I know people don't like to use that um, conversation about uh, Baines uh, being in, but uh, you know what? If you're going to let Baines in, you gotta let uh, Murphy and uh, and McGriff in, right? So, you know, the Crime Dog was. They were both. At one time, they were probably um, at the top of the league as players. So, I think that's what I base my Hall of Fame with. Was was the player? Oh, there's a nice Jose Canseco. and that is the Gold Cup card. A little off center, left to right, but other than that, nice card. What I base my Hall of Fame um, is uh, also, you know, did he have a good career? Yeah, that's 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 one of them. But I like to have my Hall of Famers to be kind of the one of the at their time the best in the league, right? One of the best at least. So they're in that conversation of uh, in their heyday they were the best. Well, there's Andre Galar. There's an early Galarraga. Again, he was in the '86 traded. That '86 traded sounds. Uh, more and more, I'm going to do a box break of that because that uh, that is a good set to have. Um, there's an early Golaraga. I'm going to put that one to the side. And um, still looking for our first box. There's a nice Nolan Ryan, IPC Nolan Ryan, guys. So always nice to see. It. And that is, look, it looks, it looks pretty good. That's a nice clean Nolan Ryan card. Very distinctive, this 87 uh, tops uh, set. You can tell right away, um, you, you know, there's not another set that looks like it. Kind of with, with those uh, wood borders. Here is the Juan Beniquez, and the gum card is going to be a checklist, which I don't mind. Mike Young, Rob Deere, Purple I-11, White of Blue. That must have been one of his last years. For sure. Gidry, Tony Fernandez just recently passed away. Great, great player. Great Blue Jay. Great player. Uh, probably not a Hall of Famer in the sense of um, numbers, but, um, you know, growing up watching Tony, man, he was just... People got overshowered, uh, over overlooked because um, kind of Ozzy Smith was doing all these amazing plays um, at the same time. But uh, Tony, you know, if going down to the... There's Andy, oh, there's a gold cup card, but uh, nothing notable. Um, 
going down to the that exhibition stadium and watching Tony Fernandez uh, um, at shortstop was was pretty cool. He would do some amazing things. There's the gum card there. There's Pete Rose. So I'll, I'll sleeve that one up. Always looking for nice Pete Roses to send in the PSA. There's another guy that's not in the Hall of Fame. So there's another debate too, right? So, you know, I my opinion is that Pete Rose will probably not get into the Hall of Fame when he's alive. I think that's, you know, unfortunately... Whether you agree or not, I think that's what's probably going to happen. I don't, I don't think they're going to put him in when he's alive. I think, uh, you know, when he's gone, they'll probably put him in at some point. So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Um, but, um, I don't know. Pete Rose, I, in my opinion, yeah, should be in the Hall of Fame. Next pack, guys. And this is really fun looking at these old cards. Rick Leach. Here's a Dave Parker All-Star. Manny Lee. Here's a Tony Russa. Here's a Kirk Gibson. Nice. Oh, there's our first true rookie. He's uh, Peter Larkin. And that is well-centered. Sharp. Nice looking card. I'll put that in the notables. See if... Uh, take another look at it. See if I... Uh, if it's 10 worthy uh, and then ship it off to I would uh, you know um, getting tens in these um, rookies on this set that would be you know pretty cool to do especially after I don't think I've op opened up another a box of this in a long long time there's another checklist so it's pretty cool to see these old cars brings back a lot of memories Dave Steve another Great Toronto pitcher, one of the besters, Daryl Strawberry, 86. I think his, yeah, his uh, rookie was 84 with uh, Donnie Baseball, Tony Pena, and a nice George Brett. That's another card that I like to t look over, see if I can get a PSA 10. I'll send, uh, I'll send in cards, like I will send in that George Brett or whatever cards. If I, if I think they're going to get a 10, I always like to see them slapped. Always nice looking, uh, getting these cards and slabbing them, especially if you get a nice 10. Um, obviously, it's not as bad as OPG. OPG, for American friends, is kind of like the equivalent to Tops um, in Canada. And um, <laughs> OPG is notorious for terrible quality control. Oh, there's the Aussie Smith that's demolished by the gum. Terrible on um, quality control. So, off-centering, and uh, the cuts were really bad. Mookie Wilson, Don Baylor. And... Okay, guys, so that is our part one. So, we did the first row, part one. Look out for part two. Uh, we got some nice cards, guys. Got some nice rookies. Um, got this Barry Larkin, nice Pete Rose, the Jose Canseco Gold Cup, and the Bo Jackson, and they all look pretty good and sharp, so look out for part two, I'm pretty, I'm hopeful we can get a nice Bonds in the Maguire in part two, um, thank you for watching guys, once again, if you're looking for cards, I just listed some more, we got over 350 PSA graded new and vintage cards on my eBay store, go to kalamathageo underscore seven, uh, go on, take a look, and, and uh, send me an offer, you can make a deal, um, this is a personal break, but we do box breaks on my Facebook group page, Gem 10 Collectors World. We also do, we also buy and sell and trade on there. It's pretty, it's a safe site guys. So go take a look. And, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, subscribe to our channel over 300 subscribers and growing every day, um, has amazing stuff coming up. So look out for part two guys, and I'll see you next time.